Welcome to Ecoholics. In this lecture, we will understand about the term econometrics and statistics. A lot of students have asked me about what is the correlation or the integration of these two terms that is econometrics and statistics. So here they have asked me via emails via my WhatsApp number. So here I'm making a small lecture just to clarify your doubts about economic econometrics and statistics. Now, first of all, we need to understand what's the definition of econometrics. Under econometrics, it actually refers to the application of economic theory, mathematics and statistical techniques in order to test the hypothesis or the validity of a particular theory in order to forecast the future events that may occur in future. So that is the best definition we can say about the econometrics. So here we have understood about the application of mathematics and the statistical tool into the economic theory in order to understand or in order to test the hypothesis or the validity of the theory in order to foresee or predict about the future events. So that's what the meaning of econometrics. Now econometrics generally referred as or generally considered as the most important under it is a regression analysis. Now we'll separately take into a different lecture about the total regression analysis. But here for the point of time, we can understand what the meaning of a regression analysis. Now regression analysis in econometrics is generally dependent on there are two types of variables. First is dependent variable and the second is independent variable. Now dependent variable or what we call the explained variable as well is dependent on one or more independent variables. Like for example, if we say in simple sense that consumption is dependent on your disposable income. So here we can say C is the consumption. Here A and B are the coefficient parameters and YD is what we call the independent variable. It means this consumption depends on the level of a consumer's income. Now as your income goes up, your consumption will also go up. And how much the consumption will go up with the increase in the income, that's what we need to understand, we need to see. So by knowing the increase in the income, suppose for example, we can calculate that how much the consumer will increase their consumption. So here A is the autonomous consumption. If suppose an individual is not having any income, what he or she will do, she will or he will also consume some amount of food without any income by suppose bagging, by borrowing, etc. So here A is the coefficient of autonomous consumption and here B is your marginal propensity to consume. It means the degree, how much increase in the income will lead to how much increase in the consumption. That's what the simple we can say regression analysis where we have C is the dependent variable and here we have YD is the independent variable. Now if we are having one dependent and one independent variable, this is what we call the simple regression analysis. And where we have the one dependent variable and multiple or more than one independent variable, that's what we call the multiple regression analysis. Now here this is a simple thing. Now understand that there are certain kind of other factors also affect the consumption. So what are the other factors we are including is what we call by adding this mu that is known as the disturbance term or a stochastic because in the real world phenomena there are other factors as well that are actually affecting the consumption. But you know that econometrics is a we can say is also an art as well as science. So we cannot say this is a pure science like physical sciences. So here we need to take into consideration other factors as well that may be visible, may not be visible. So here the effect of these type of factors we will see in terms of this disturbance or error term or a stochastic just to make sure that other real world phenomena may also impact the level of consumption. So this is how the equation looks like and we'll build up this equation into the further lectures as well. And at the end of this lecture, I'll give you one important equation that will actually derive the demand of a particular commodity. Now moving forward in this lecture. Now types of econometrics. Now there are two types of econometrics analysis. Number one is theoretical econometrics and the number two is 
applied econometrics now under theoretical economics we understand the theory in general and under applied economics we see the real world economic phenomena like for example the consumer demand theory the investment the consumption and other things like production theory so we apply that particular principles to a real world phenomena that already existed so this is the major difference between theoretical and the applied econometric now we'll understand the functions of econometrics so there are three functions of econometrics that we need to understand so functions of econometrics the number one the number one function of econometrics is to test test the economic theories or we can say hypothesis so in order to understand that that any particular hypothesis is valid towards the real world economic phenomena so we need to see that like the consumption is directly related to your income level like quantity demanded of a commodity is inversely related to price of that particular commodity so this is how the first function of econometrics refers to the second function to provide numerical estimates of coefficient of economic theory so this is to provide numerical estimates of the coefficient of economic theories like for example that suppose a government will cut the tax the direct taxes now what will be the impact of these cutting down taxes on the consumption and the income level in the economy so this is how you can estimate about the coefficient the third thing is to forecasting the events in the real world so these are the three functions of econometrics that we need to take into consideration whenever we are dealing with this particular subject matter now we'll see one equation that we'll use in our further lectures so that particular equation is very very vital so be careful about understanding that equation Now suppose there is a commodity X. So DX means demand for that commodity X. So we have certain commodity X. Then we have certain price level for that, that is P. So here we are writing coefficient B0 plus coefficient B1 and the price of the X. Because here we are having P. Then we will have the Y also, so that is the income of the consumer. So here we are adding another variable, another independent variable that is known as the B2Y. B2 is the coefficient of Y. Plus suppose in the demand for X, what other things will affect like prices of other goods. Suppose there is another good known as Z. So price of Z will become B3 PZ, price of Z. And at last we can say that we'll use the disturbance term, the error term that is mu. So this is how your the exact relationship between the dependent variable and one or more independent variable looks like. So just keep in mind this equation and we'll capitalize on this equation into our future lectures. So I hope you understand this lecture. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Apart from this, do mention in the comment box if you have any doubt or any suggestions you are having for any other topic. Please don't forget to subscribe Ecoholics because it takes a lot to make these lectures. And so it gives immense pleasure if you comment in the comment box that gives us motivation. Apart from this, we are having the mobile app where you'll find the full courses of econometrics, mathematical economics and other courses like economics optional for UPSC, Indian economic services, UGC net economics and many more courses. To more detail, for more details, you can see ecoholics.in. This is our website. So I hope you enjoy this work of ecoholics. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.